Okay, so I created this desktop wallpaper using Canva. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can either make one from scratch or if you just want to use my template, then I can show you how to use my template. So the first place you want to go to is my Instagram account if you want to use this one. If you don't want to use this one and you just want to create your own, then you can go straight to Canva. So let's try downloading this one first. So let's go ahead and go to my Instagram account, which is instagram.com backslash engage the middle. And you will click on the link in my bio. And there you'll look for a desktop wallpaper with Canva. And that will take you to the my copy of the desktop wallpaper. Uh, the instructions say to click on file and make a copy um, because this is the master copy. So we're going to go ahead and click on file and then make a copy. And now I can close this initial copy. You have a copy of copy. So let's close the first one. And now here I can rename the copy of copy, whatever I want. So I'll put my name here for now. That way I know this one's mine. So um, I can delete these instructions now because this is not the original copy anymore. And now I have my um, my desktop wallpaper. Now, if I wanted to create one from scratch, then I can just go to templates and look for desktop wallpaper. And they have all these different wallpapers that you can edit and um, use however you'd like and be creative with them. Um, but this is the one I created. so. You can definitely use the back, change the background. So if I click on backgrounds, if I want to make it a different color, um, you can change the backgrounds to whatever you'd like. And then you'll change the fonts and colors like that accordingly. So let's go with something um, easy to see. Yeah, let's go with this one. All right. So here you can go ahead and change the font, you can change the color of your text, you can change the size of the text, um, you can change these headers as well. Um, you can add more notes if you'd like. So if I go to elements and just click in like type in note, then there's all these other little post-it looking things that you can add as well. Um, you can make them bigger or smaller um, and then change the labels, um, whatever you want to do. You can make them straighter if you want, if you want them like more, less like diagonal or whatever. So it's up to you on your design or you can just leave it as is. So now that I have my template, then I can go ahead and download and I will download as a PNG. Now, this is an Apple computer I'm working on, so your instructions might be different if you have um, a PC. All right, so I can download it. So normally, wherever your downloaded pictures go, that's where this is going to go. So mine goes straight to my download. So now it's here. And now that it's there, I I'm going to click here on system preferences. Again, I have an Apple, so I'm going to click on system preferences and I'm going to click on desktop and screensaver. All right, and I'm going to click this plus sign here and I will click the last thing in my downloads because it's the last thing that downloaded. So I'll choose that and I will always select stretch to fill screen. And so this is what it looks like. Now, when you want to move your icons to certain places in your screen, you do have to change the settings. So you'll click on view and sort icons by none. So you don't want to sort by name or kind or anything because then what happens is this. It'll sort auto automatically sort it for you and you can't move them. But if you go to view and sort by none, then you can manipulate where your icons go. So that's um, what you need to do. Um, if I want to change it again, like I said, it's very easy to just go ahead and go back to desktop, click on the plus sign, 
click on the picture that you want and then stretch the full screen and there you have it. So now you have your categories and your files organized into whatever category you want. If you wanted to create your own, then again, you would just go back to home in Canva, create a new design and just look up desktop wallpaper and the dimensions will already be there. All you have to do is either select an already pre-made wallpaper or start creating one on your own. So it's really up to you if you want to use um, one of these or create your own. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have fun.